welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So we are working on our phone book app where we have created the model in the last episode like this. If I click on that new model is here, cancel, model is gone. But we need some text box inside here so that we can do something with the Laravel part. But before that, let's create model resource controller migration for our Laravel app. So let's go to our finder and a new terminal and here php artisan and I'm going to create the model migration and the resource controller in one command. So uh, php artisan make colon model then hyphen m hyphen r hyphen m will create the migration and hyphen r will create the resource controller so before that we have to give the model name so phone book hit enter migration is created model is created and controller is created let's go to sublime let's open app folder phone book model is here http controller phone book controller which is actually a resource controller is here and let's go to database migration and this migration create phone book table is migration is here so now let's create migration so we need a string of name then we need a integer for phone then we need another string for email and again as your requirement you can increase or decrease the fields okay so we have created these things so that's good and let's go to terminal once more and type php artisan migrate but before migrate let's check that i have not connected to database so database name is phone book username is root secret password secret is nothing let's see whether we have the database of phone book yeah i have which is empty that's good so let's go to terminal hit php artisan migrate and yes it's created so reload this and yeah we have this phone book name phone email that's great very nice let's open web.php file let's create a route route name is resource and i will say phone book comma and inside this i have to say phone that should be phone book controller that's the uh, end and now instead of using this inside a route or base route i'm going to return for base route let's return welcome but i'm going to open this phone book controller so for that i will go app http controller phone book controller and inside index i will paste this and here come phone book so now our new route will become slash phone book so here I have to say slash phone book slash but it doesn't matter because I have used the hash route so that's good so if I reload it's not having anything because we are on the base URL and now phone book is here and home is here that's great very nice so everything is set up next we have to get the fields or the input box inside this model so let's go to burma.io docs docs and forms okay so inside the form i need general things that means some field so copy this go to our add component so i will close these 
resources assets js component add dot view between these section i will paste that okay so reload and add new yeah it has name and the text box so this is the name type is text class input placeholder simply that should be name and that's it let's do two more one for phone and one for email so phone and type has to be number then email type has to be email reload add new name phone email is here and now what we need obviously the placeholder has to be changed now we need whenever i give the data here when i click on the save changes it will save these things on the database so that's okay but let's change these placeholder phone email that's okay so i will say at click on the save button i will say save function or the method so save and what we are going to do whenever we have we have to give the data but how we can get the data from these fields so for that we need to say v model v model here uh, list dot name similarly for phone list dot phone for email list dot email and as we are using all these things we have to create the data so data going to return and it will just have list which is having name empty phone empty email empty great everything is here and now how we will pass the data to our controller we need to do the ajax thing to have the ajax part with the vue.js we need axios library okay so you have to search for this axios uh, github repository i will give the link in the description okay so you can see for post we need to get these kind of codes but you will say yeah that's okay but we have to install the axios but wait we are on laravel we already have the axios so if you go to bootstrap.js you will see yeah this axios is already installed so let's paste this and edit this for es6 type of command so that should be like then it has to be a arrow function and that's going to be console log everything similarly this will also have to give like this and console log errors great and it's done but what route we have to provide it's having some kind of error let's see the error so it says we have to give oh yeah we have to give comma here great okay so we have to post a new url which is phone book slash store okay that's good because we are using resource controller and if i go to terminal and i will say php artisan route colon list and you can see we have this post request of phone book for phone book dot store so i think it has to be phone book only not phone book slash store okay so only phone book with a post request and then open the controller so controller so that should be phone book controller okay i have used the control p command to search directly okay 
so inside store i will just say dollar request and return dollar request arrow all okay that's great go to chrome reload the page open console add new some data that should be number that should be email dot com save changes and you can see we are having the data in our console but you can see if i go to chrome once more the data is nothing because we have not passed any data so let's see i will say this dot dollar data this will pass all the data we have inside our data of the view so that's great now go reload and let's empty out the console so name phone email save changes and this time we have the data list the name phone and email that's very nice so we just have to save all these things in our database but one thing more we can do we can just pass dot list so in that way we don't get this array so like this if i clean up save changes uh, we just have to refresh the page okay so clean up once more add new phone email dot com save changes and yes the data is like this that's great okay so data is here we just have to save this to our phone book database okay so phone book we have to create a new instance of this phone book so i will say pb called phone book and then pb that means the phone book arrow name is equal to request arrow name similarly the phone and the last one which is going to be email so email and the last one pb arrow save okay so let's go and clear this save changes it says some kind of error what the error is review access denied we have to restart our server so that we have the database connection okay that's great this one clean up once more the console clean up save changes and yes that means everything is good we are not returning anything and now if i go to my sql pro reload this and yes we have the data here so congratulations we are saving the data from our model to our database and one thing we have to do whenever everything is done we just want to close the model so i will say this dot close okay so let's go reload this add new name is sarthak phone is something email is sarthak at bitfumes.com clear this save changes and model is gone and again let's go to is that sql pro yeah here it is and refresh yes the data is here so in this episode we have done all these things so in the next episode we are going to display that data inside here on this list and then we will move further so don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye